Well, good morning, Quirky Birders, and welcome to episode five of your daily art challenge. Now, today it's Fine Line Friday, um, so this is the day that we start to really make um, a difference with our painting, and we start to add in these ink details to really change the way that our painting then looks. Um, so it's been a wonderful week. We've painted along um, the charming design um, of the sort of Mediterranean Sea, um, which I've, I've called Santorini. Um, after the session had finished, um, the, the video had finished yesterday, I added just a couple of little bits of flowers into this flower bed here. So same way that I'd stippled um, into the walls, um, I've added a little bit of the, the flowers um, in the foreground here. So today we're going to be doing the fine liner details and we're going to be working with um, either a 0 0.5, 0 0.6 or a 0 0.4. I've chosen to use a 0 0.6 and then I'll be doing the finer details with a 0 0.4. So let's make a start. So all I'm going to do for the fine liner details is literally just follow my pencil line. So you just need to take your time. and just follow those pencil lines. So I'm going to come right the way round. And we'll put that top of the wall in. And then the side of the wall. We'll add this little coastal path. Disappearing off into the distance. And then let's add our little buildings. And we can just add the windows using the ink pen just to put those little windows on the side. Pop a little window in the top of this one. Our little cottages in the distance there. You can add in the shoreline and that lovely cove where the sea is. We can come along the top for the horizon line. And then we can work on our main building, which is this chapel. So we'll do this outside wall. Let's just put a couple of double lines in for the details on this building fascia here.
it's just got a little bit more detail on there. We'll add in the window. That lovely white wall. And then let's do the top of the chapel. Do the windows. Let's do the dome. Oops. We can put the roof line in. Let's add a couple of other lines. So just let's put a double line in for the roof. And then we'll come on down with this dome. in the top of the terrace. And it's just about taking your time and just working your way around the painting. We'll do the, the doors. And then we'll come down the steps. So we'll start with this little archway.
a little bit of the shading along this foreground here. So we'll come around these little pots. Just put the little plants in them. window frame and pop the steps in And then we'll just come down this side wall here. Let's put in the steps. And let's just bring a, a couple of little bits of scribble just down on these steps just to define them a little bit more. So you can now change your pen and pick up your finer pen, which would be your, in my case, the four. And let's just start by putting in just some of the little leaves, leaf shapes on the little foliages along the top of the terraces there. So we'll just add in the little oval leaf shapes of the trailing foliages. We can also then just scribble in some of the flowers that are trailing down.
any little flower details you can just do a little wavy spiral just to add in the ink details over the tops of your flowers. And then we'll just add in just some of the little leaves and grasses around them. the bougainvillea type flowers just scribble your way through those lovely colours just be very very loose with it with your pen you don't have to be too precise it's absolutely fine and then just do a couple of little oval leaves on the greens Just do this bit here on the side. So again, we'll start with the little grasses. And then just do that wavy spiral into a circle. We'll do the bourbonvillea. We can just do the same with the the red and the green in this little garden. So I'm just going to lightly scribble my way down the red flowers. And then we'll pop the grasses in. And then on the C, we can just put in a couple of little scribbles onto the C using your pen. And we can take the cliffs, let's just do some scribbles up the sides of the cliffs from that shoreline. And then we'll just lightly define the edge of the beach. And just introduce a couple of little, almost little scribbles just over that green, just to add to that texture. 
and, different, and definition. Okay, so now all I need to do is just gently peel away the tape that was securing my illustration to the board. always write um, Santorini so we could actually write the word Santorini the bottom of the wall there and then you can just sign your illustration and that's it that's your illustration or painting of Santorini completely finished. I do hope you've enjoyed this daily art challenge. I am aware that I've probably pushed you a little bit further than um, you, you may not have liked, um, but I do hope you've ended up with something on your paper that actually you're really quite proud of and very pleased that you've done. It's just a lovely little painting to do. Very, very quirky, very, very quirky and true to the, the um, our quirky bird style. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, please do share your work to the page. I'd love to see what you've all come up with. Um, and thank you again for painting along with me. Goodbye. <laughs>